to a gospel road and birthday celebration for gospel legend Jay Cardwell Saturday, May 25th, 6 to 10 p.m. at the Sammy Congo Social Hall located at Nissan Fair Baptist Church, 1400 B Street in Wilmington, Delaware. Dr. Christopher Carey is the pastor. Music by the mighty men of the Canaan Baptist Church, Dr. Christopher Allen Bullock, pastor. Also, the Gospel Ambassador. Now, it's only $20, which includes a four-course catered meal by needs. For tickets and information, call Marvin Richardson Moore at 302-261-6107. To reserve a table of eight or sponsor tickets for seniors, call yours truly, George Witcher, at 302-762-3249. I got two men following me. I got two people following me. I got two people following me. Read the why they follow me. I don't know. It's just grace and mercy. And they follow me wherever.
into a gospel road and birthday celebration for gospel legend Jay Codwell, Saturday, May 25th, 6 to 10 p.m. at the Sammy Congo Social Hall, located at the Eastern Fair Baptist Church, 1400 B Street in Wilmington, Delaware. Dr. Christopher Carey is the pastor. Music by the mighty men of the Canaan Baptist Church, Dr. Christopher Allen Bullock, pastor. Also, the gospel ambassador. Now, it's only $20, which includes a four-course catered meal by needs. For tickets and information, call Marvin Richardson Moore at 302-261-6107. To reserve a table of eight or sponsor tickets for seniors, call yours truly, George Witcher, at 302-762-3249. to Herman Holloway Live tonight. Uh, I am your host, Josie Roy, and our program tonight will be uh, dedicated uh, in honor of none other than Jay Caldwell. Um, first of all, let me thank Herman for allowing me to come to host his program this evening. He's away. Uh, we have a fun-filled program uh, this evening. We have some announcements, and after our announcements, we're going to get right in uh, to the meet of why we're here and talk about Mr. Jay Caldwell and the event that is coming up on May 25th. So with me I have my guests, I have Mr. George Witcher, I have Marva Richardson Roy, uh, Mr. Len Church who was here with me this afternoon for the Lapa Hour and also we have Mr. Linwood Jackson. So I want to thank all of them for coming down tonight. Um, Herman, he said that it must be about Jay Caldwell. So I promised him I would do the best I could and have you down, George, and Marva, and also the other guests, just to talk about all the good things that Jay Caldwell has done for us in the community. And not only in our community, Jay Caldwell has been everywhere and has did some good things, him and the Gospel Ambassador. So we just want to really uh, talk about all the good things about him and about the event coming up. But before we go to that, what we would like to do is get our announcements out of the way. And let me first just give this one. And I just want to uh, congratulate again, um, Mr. Uh, County Exec Tom Gordon, Reverend Bullock, uh, Marie Cabrera, uh, Mayor Williams, and Frank uh, Gillette, and Baba Kamun Noon. Um, they were awarded, um, and honored last night at the Six Sankofa Awards program uh, that is given every year by uh, Reverend Lawrence Livingston and Mr. Moon. So we just want to say hats off to them, uh, continue all the good work, and the program was very, very nice. It was a nice program, and I really enjoyed it. But again, we want to say thanks and hats off to the honorees last night at the Six Sankofa uh, awards program. So with that, I'm going to go to Mr. George Witcher and he can come his own way with his announcements. Well, Mr. Th Witcher. Thank you so much, uh, mm -hmm. Josie, for allowing us to be down here, inviting us down here. Uh, we want to thank Herman in his absence for uh, giving up this time so that we could uh, uh, promote the big event, the Gospel Roast and Birthday Celebration for Jay Cowell and the Gospel Ambassador. Now, Josie, you said 
I'm coming to, to make my announcement, but I, I, I'm coming to make Mr. Church's announcement because <laughs> Mr. Church kind of put this on me. So since that he put this on me, right, uh, we're, go, we're going to make these announcements. Well, we all like to share. <laughs> yeah, well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, don't mind. I don't mind. I'm a part of the team. I'm no, a team I'm player. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mr. Church, I done dropped your announcement. Okay. Uh, but we're, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'll take this one here, too. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ali Muhammad revealed the real divine diet at the Rose Hill Community Center located at 19 Lampson Lane in Newcastle from 4 to 7 p.m. this coming Saturday, May the 25th, 2013. This exciting and informative presentation will be followed by a book signing at the house of Rama, Reawakening Man, 602 Vandiver Avenue here in the city of Wilmington. Tickets are $10 in advance, $15 at the door. To purchase tickets, call 302-588-7547. Vendors will be present. Now this, again, let me read it one more time. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ali Muhammad revealed the real divine diet at the Rose Hill Community Center located at 19 Lampson Lane in Newcastle from 4 to 7 p.m. this coming Saturday. This exciting and informative presentation will be followed by a book signing at the House of Rams, Reawakening Man, located at 602 Vanderbilt Avenue in Wilmington. The tickets, $10 in advance, $15 at the door. And to purchase tickets, call 302-588 seven five four seven vendors will be present lapa's old school dinner dance the mm -hmm. fifth annual old school dinner dance will take place at the beautiful air-conditioned belvedere fire hall located at 1000 liberty road in belvedere delaware friday july the 12th 2013 at 7 p.m until Tickets only $30 in advance, more at the door. Sit down to a delicious meal, stand up to dance to the music we enjoy. Music by DJ Rock. For more information, you can call the Congo Funeral Home at 652-8887. My friend, Sister Ruth Baker, 655-3477. Josie Roy. None other than Miss Josie Roy <laughs> at 377 7983. That's the lap of old school dinner dance, their fifth annual dinner dance at the beautiful air conditioned Belvedere Fire Hall located at 1000 Liberty Road in Belvedere, Delaware, Friday, July the 12th, 7 p.m. until $30 in advance. More at the door. Sit down to a delicious meal. Stand up to dance to the music we enjoy. Music by DJ Rock. For more information, call Sammy Congo or Ms. Sherry Congo at 652-8887. Sister Ruth Baker, 655-3477. And Josie Roy, 377-7983. Thank you so much. I see why Lynn took and gave you those <laughs> announcements because George, you just do it so well. Doesn't oh, see it. Doesn't you see it. <laughs> don't, don't give me no more. <laughs> you do it so well. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you for having now, me. Now, um, we're going to go to Mr. Church. Yes. And he has an announcement. And then I think, Lynn, would you might have an announcement. So we want to get them all out of the way. Then we're going to talk about Mr. Caldwell. Yes, indeed. Am I on yet? <laughs> well, hello. How are we? <laughs> I can't believe I'm back here. I mean, I was uh, commandeered by the boss, as we say. But um, hey, look, trust me, I asked Mr. Witcher to do that. I didn't force him. Right? I'm not that bad. <laughs> but what I like to say is this: is that what we're what we're um, what we're having here in June is, and I think this is very very important for the families to recognize. This is called Project Camp Enrichment, and it's a program, and it's a summer program that's going to be held at Warner School. And the students from Warner are the only ones that are going to be required to go or, or actually will be accepted to go into this program. And that's going to be on June the 17th through August the 16th. And that's from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the parent orientation, this is very, very important, that the parents need to be there on June the 10th 
And what you need to do is get your orientation process in so you can register your kids to be able to participate in this program. And that's going to be, like I said, at the Warner School, and that's going to be June the 10th. That's for the registration of the parents. And that's at uh, 4 p.m. That's on June the 10th, 4 p.m. at 801 West 18th Street, and that's Wilmington, Delaware. To reiterate, uh, to reiterate what I just said, it's the Project Camp Enrichment Program. It's a summer program for students for Warner Elementary only. And that's going to be from June the 17th until August the 16th. And the program runs from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. But you have to show up to register for orientation, parents, on June the 10th. Please be there. That's 801 West 18th Street. That's Wilmington, Delaware. And my other one is, is this summer. I like this one here. This is the city of Wilmington. Whenever the city tries to put something on and it's good for kids, I always like that because they've done a lot not only for myself but for others and one of the things park and recreation is doing is called youth and families division and it's a summer food service program and if you guys saw us early today we had a young lady on and what she did was she was explaining to us exactly what is going to um, occur in the process it's going to be from june the 17th to august the 16th and that's breakfast and lunch so it's no out-of-pocket cost all you have to do is get your kids prepared and what will happen is is um it says here sandra lb man love is the director and for additional information you can contact her at area code 302-576-3835 and what's important is is that you get your kids there in the morning and that way you don't have to have an out-of-pocket cost you get them fed breakfast and lunch the other one we have here is the one i really i'm going to be there so i'm not going to tell anybody otherwise I'm definitely going to be at this one. And this is the 64th annual Palenium Picnic. And what this consists of is called Stars and Stripes. It's June the 5th. And it's going to be held from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's going to be at Banning Park. And that's for all you veterans. I don't care, who you, are, I don't care what war you, you served in, wherever you served. If you served a day or if you served a month or if you served three years. Okay. Most important part is that you can get out there. And that's going to be held, like I said, on June the 5th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Banning Park. And all we're asking you to do is, like we say, don't miss this free and popular event honoring all veterans. Registration, if you want to be a part of the podium, you need to contact with this number. Excuse me. Registration is area code 302-395-5624. That's area code 302 three nine five five six two four and um on that note i'm going to turn it back over to the host okay well thank you so much now um mr linwood do you have an announcement and then after that we're going to take a quick break and we're going to do the rest of the program on mr jay caldwell well all right thank you josie uh if you we're passing out announcements uh we all know uh june the summertime there's a lot <coughs> going on uh, I'll just, uh, you know, push my play June 23rd. North Philly Billies will be, be, be performing at the D.C. Black uh, Theater Festival in Washington, D.C. on June 23rd. There'll be a bus leaving uh, at the, uh, um, the Bolarama uh, on that day. Uh, you can get your tickets and find out more information at a aladycproductionscompany.com uh, and they'll fill you in. Uh, with that, I just want to thank uh, uh, Josie uh, for inviting me on the show again. It's always a pleasure working with my main man, Mr. Lenny Church, and of course, uh, uh, our show on From the Hearts host, uh, Ms. Marva Richardson. And, uh, uh, and it's always a pleasure uh, working with uh, Mr. George Witcher as well. I know uh, his granddaughter was in this production a few years ago. It's a lot of talent in their family. Uh, Mr. Witcher it happens to be uh, the road manager uh, and the announcer for Mr. Jay Codwell. And uh, I know they, they traveled all over the world, uh, gone to some of my favorite places, although I haven't been there, like Russia and Brazil. Uh, so it's going to be a pleasure going to uh, speaking with Mr. Jay Codwell uh, at his roast and birthday celebration. 
And real quick, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Uh, Herman Holloway Jr. And uh, we want to thank him for uh, giving us the opportunity to come on his show as well. But I tell you what, Herman, you better hurry up, man, because you've got, you got a lot of hosts on here going to work your show for you, buddy. Uh, uh, again, um, we just want to, you know, make sure everybody comes out and recognize the legendary mm -hmm. Jay Caldwell, mm -hmm. who has been in our community for over well over 40 years performing uh, great gospel music. And we'll talk about that more, I'm sure, uh, after the break. Um, you have a break coming up, Josie? All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come right back, and we're going to begin to talk about Mr. Jay Caldwell and the special event that's coming up on May 25th. invited to a gospel road and birthday celebration for gospel legend Jay Caldwell, Saturday, May 25th, 6 to 10 p.m. at the Sammy Congo Social Hall, located at Nissan Fair Baptist Church, 1400 B Street in Wilmington, Delaware. Dr. Christopher Carey is the pastor. Music by the mighty men of the Canaan Baptist Church, Dr. Christopher Allen Bullock, pastor. Also, the Gospel Ambassador. Now, it's only $20, which includes a four-quart catered meal by needs. For tickets and information, call Marvin Richardson Moore at 302-261-6107. To reserve a table of eight or sponsor tickets for seniors, call yours truly, George Witcher, at 302-762-3249. Welcome back. Now our program gets very, very interesting. And uh, again, I want to thank all those guests of mine who who's uh, come down tonight. And uh, again, thank Mr. Herman Holloway uh, Jr. for allowing us to come on uh, his program. Of course, you know, the bottom line, his favorite saying, I think we might have to say the bottom line tonight to let him know <laughs> that we really, really appreciate it coming on uh, his program. and. Uh, you know, taking over for him until he gets back. We do wish him uh, a safe trip, uh, a good trip. He, he deserves to take a little break and he's taking a break and he'll be back within the next week or so. But have a good time, Herman, and thank you again. At this time, I'm gonna go to uh, my dear, dear friend, cousin-in-law, uh, Sister Marva Richardson Roy, um, who is from the heart, from our heart, uh, who has everybody's heart, um, who had this vision to do this event for uh, Mr. Jay Caldwell. Uh, I just want to come to you, Marva, and you come in your own way, and um, we appreciate, and I know Mr. Caldwell does everything that you have done and you're, you're doing, um, and not only you have done it for so many people, but just come in your own way. I, this is when you, after you talk and say what you have to talk, I want to talk all of us about a vision because you said that you had a vision and so come in your own way but we we'll want to talk well, about the first vision of all, too. I'm, I'm going to miss you Mr. Witzer because mm -hmm. it, Saturday it's all over and we still got to stay in tune and in touch because Mr. Witzer has become family mm -hmm. and when I get involved with everybody I, I dump myself in so now I'm a Richardson, Roy, Witcher, <laughs> Codwell, <laughs> Congo, Smith, Church. Watch out Lenny. Jackson. 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 See, I have to help her out yes, here. Watch yes, out. I, I am so I'm not, in trouble. You're in trouble. But I'm, I'm so honored, and I want to speak very briefly because we do have a lot of area to cover. But first of all, in that, I would like to say, yes, by my kitchen zinc is when God deals with me We're in the ladies' room, you know, and I feel, you know, and I thank Mr. Roy because when I feel, and that's not all the time, Josie, it's every now and then. Mm -hmm. And when I, I'm, I'm going to say again, it was a glimpse a glimpse and then I when I got that glimpse I went right on to the phone and called my dearest friend the engineer chief and the conductor of this train the Jay Codwell train and Mr. Witcher uh, wanted uh, some time to toss it around he got back in a couple days and this vision this little glimpse of my vision became almost 
by Saturday, it will be a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Mr. Witzer. And, uh, you know, uh, I know that it's a, a vision, and I know God has touched to this because everything kind of fell in place, the approval, everybody jumping on board. You know, there's still uh, little things we have to mend, but that's fine. But mm -hmm. uh, as I was telling Mr. Witcher, in this world we have trials and tribulation. And, you know, uh, I wouldn't call this trials and tribulation, but I'm just saying the most important thing was the approval, the consent. You mm -hmm. know, first of all, Dr. Uh, Christopher Carey, am I correct? Doc, Dr. Christopher Bullock, that gave his, uh, you know, the men of Canaan permission. Because even though we might ask, they still have to give their people permission. Mm -hmm. For that, I am honored. Also, mm -hmm. let me roll on. I'd like to also thank LAPA. I just put that down. LAPA, mm -hmm. LAPA. Because this gives us our greater outreach to do this. Again, as I said before, there are outreaches, but this is the greatest outreach. And for that, it keeps us in touch and in tune, and it's enable us to do what we're doing tonight. I, my hat's off to you and my honors to Lapa. Thank you. Also, now let me move on again to Mr. and Mrs. Congo. I blush when I say their names. I was raised around Cherry and Mr. Congo, mm -hmm. and even through his heights, he never lost uh, his humbleness. Uh, he's, they're such wonderful people, and I'm honored to have known them in my life as a child. Uh, as we traveled up until now. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew if once we got to them, remember I kept asking you, when are they getting back? Mm -hmm. They were away. And Mr. and Mrs. Congo jumped on board. And then we're doing this at the Congo um, Social Hall. And then they donated tickets. And then Cherry called me last week. I'm just running around with my words. I want to get it out. She called me last week. We were on that hour lap of last week. Mm -hmm. So everything just began to, the, the train is roaring. I'd like to thank them. I would also like to thank Herman Holloway Jr. for extending his time. I'm honoring him, and that, uh, Herman is such a dear, mm -hmm. he's a wonderful person. Uh, everyone who played a part. Now, Alban, thank you so much. Alban started out with a promo. He began to get the promo. Mr. Uh, George Witcher went to him, and Alban did the promo. We have to give thanks to them. We have to give thanks to the crew mm -hmm. that worked this, worked this, these cameras to keep, especially me, because I can be a wreck. I'd like to thank many, many people who contributed to this tribute to Mr. J. Codwell. I'm going to run right on, Josie, because, you know, I could go on, but I want Take this to be time. very short. Um, now, time. and I also want to thank this doll baby. Well, I'm calling him doll babies. Now, I never called Mr. Roy a doll baby, <laughs> but he's been a real doll baby because when I went to him with this vision, he just wanted to know that, you know, what, what he could do, and he jumped on, and I won't go into what he did, but he was my backup in a lot of things. In case something would go wrong, he's still my backup. I want to say to him, he's heard me babble on, run my mouth, the excitement running all through the house, and he's been such a wonderful person uh, uh, to, to help me to, to get on board with another doll baby, Miss Carolyn Witcher. Didn't I say there were doll babies? Yes, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Witcher could have said to Mrs. Witcher, no, uh, honey, I don't want you to get involved. I just think you're a little tired of what well, she could have said no. And you would have had to honor her because that's your wife. But she jumped on board and thank you, Mrs. Witcher, for hearing my mouth on that answer machine. You know, you are a real lady. You're a wonderful person. And I, I'm so humble that you have allowed your husband to be a part of us to engineer, conduct, and be the chief of this train. Now, let me see if there's any more. Um, I, I just don't want to go any further, but again, thank you to all of you. I'd like to show you and let you know what the menu is. Are you hungry? And then we'll, I, I'm done for the night. First of all, we, the menu, we had a certain menu that had been planned, but when we went to Mr. Witcher, Mr. Witcher kind of told me because of people's health issues, people like the pulled pork and all the other things we had before. But we decided, you know, after, you know, talking to Mr. Witcher, this is what we pulled out. Eat your heart out, everybody. Now we've got coleslaw, a wonderful, delish, delicious ivory coleslaw. Notice I'm gonna make you hungry. Then we have the olive chicken mm -hmm. baked. My daughter cooks them a rock in all kinds of different ways. Mm -hmm. I thank Anitra Richardson for standing on board. She's cooking for about 300 people and she's mm -hmm. ready. Wonderful. Uh, also, we have the rice pilaf. Mr. Witcher loves that. Don't you, Mr. Witcher? Yes, I do. We also had dig this one, baby redneck potatoes.